Well, hello, everyone, and welcome to Talk of the Town with me, Lynn About Town, in my town of sunny Clearwater, Florida. I am here in studio with a new friend of mine, James Grinnell. And James is the director of a brand new show that is hitting our area. And he's also the assistant managing director of the Eight O'Clock Theater, which is a company of wonderful performers here in Largo, Florida. And we're gonna be talking about that today because here at Talk of the Town, we like to promote good news and good guys. And this show is certainly good news. And James is a good guy because he keeps the arts alive. He keeps the creative things happening in our area. And these are really good shows that everyone should know about. What do we have going? What show is coming? We are opening this coming Friday. We're opening uh, Sunset Boulevard based off of the Billy Wilder film from the early 50s, um, the classic film with Gloria Swanson and William Holden um, with a score by Andrew Lloyd Webber. Nice. Yes. It's this lush, beautiful, sweeping score that just captures old Hollywood. Are there any songs that I would know from that? Yeah, there, there's a couple songs that came out of it, um, As If We Never Said Goodbye, which is oh, sung pretty... Beautiful love yeah, song. yeah, exactly. And um, uh, With One Look. So both of those were, were very popular at the time. It's a relatively new musical from the mid-90s, oh. with uh, starring Glenn Close. Nice. And yes. so before it was a musical, though, it was a movie. When you mm -hmm. said William Holden, obviously that's not yes. the 90s. No, no, He definitely. might be 90. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> I'm thinking yeah, it was he might be 90. Gloria Swanson, who was a, fi a silent film star and in her time. And so it's about a silent film star. So Billy Wilder oh. found uh, Gloria Swanson, who they were old friends at the time. So, oh, that's yeah. great. You know, I have a feeling, I used to watch the Carol Burnett show. One of the most famous lines from any film of all time came directly from that with, and now, Mr. DeMille, I'm ready for my close-up. Is that where that comes it from? It is. It is actually the final line of the show. No kidding. Mm -hmm. So let's talk theater. Let's sure. talk local theater. Now, first of all, 8 o'clock theater is in Largo, Florida. In Largo, Florida. We've been, uh, we've been doing shows. This is actually our 38th season. Wow, 38th season. Yep. We started at the Largo Community Center and then moved to uh, the... Uh, Largo Cultural Center at the time, um, and then it got renamed the Central Park Performing Arts Center. Tell me, how would someone audition for any of your shows? Well, uh, we do have a website, 8oclocktheater.com, uh, no apostrophe on the o'clock, that gives all of our, all the details of any auditions we've got coming up. Uh, all of the requirements are there. You, you bring 16 bars of a song that you're familiar with, and you sing your 16 bars, there might be a dance audition. Everyone is always welcome to come, um, no matter uh, size, shape, color, background, quality. experience, yeah. it does not matter. We're happy to have everybody and you never know. That's when we get those gems of really fantastic performers are the people we've never seen or might not have ever done anything, but they have that spark. Yes. And suddenly they become somebody really, really wonderful. Yes. Tell us about Sunset Boulevard. Yes, it's a, a score by Andrew Lloyd Webber. It's um, who wrote Phantom of the Opera and Cats, Evita, Jesus Christ Superstar, huge name. Oh my uh, God, you <clears> just <throat> like rolled off four oh, yeah. of the blockbusters of oh, all yeah. time. He is the king of British and now moving into music, uh, American musical theater. It's a beautiful, beautiful score. It, it really is all about fame and perceived fame and what happens when delusions are fed and the consequences that happen when you use someone or are being used from it's it, there's a lot involved all kinds in of it nuances oh yeah of all of it well all of keeping very cinematic yeah. and keeping that whole like film noir kind of style I love it's it. wonderful and how does how does a director pull that off for live theater how it's it's not easy off? i mean it, it helps that i it is one of sunset boulevard is actually one of my all-time favorite movies ever it's i i fell in love with it as a kid um and the score helps because the score is written very cinematically and it gives you where the author's intent as to the the mood of each scene. And it's not sung through like Evita or Jesus Christ Superstar, but it's pretty close. Mm. So it's a constant stream. So there's no stop, let's change the set, the audience applauds, we now bring up a new scene. It's constant. We start the show. It's like a runaway train, I always say. <laughs> you start the show, we're going. We're going <laughs> till intermission. There is no stopping. I think that people really need to support local theater mm -hmm. because these guys, 
I mean, what is a typical, I mean, we know that there's auditions, but what is a typical rehearsal schedule like for the eight o'clock theater? It's, I mean, it's a commitment. So depending on who you are in the show, some have more rehearsals than others, but we rehearse five nights a week, 17 hours a week. And that's about eight weeks. And then it gets heavier and heavier towards the end of it because uh, you're there sure. more often. Dress You've got ex exactly. Each person is putting in over a hundred hours of, of, of time and volunteer time without getting any pay. Um, sometimes they put in their own money to buy shoes or makeup or whatnot. So it's it is a labor of love, yeah. and you have to really, really love being there. And you can tell. I mean, everybody that's up there, Loves you would you doing. would never know that they weren't being paid to be there. No. They are professional, they are on top of everything, and they are loving being there. Yeah. And that's what you need. Yeah, and that's what makes a great performance, mm -hmm. and that's what makes great entertainment. You know, we all talk about supporting local uh, businesses and family businesses, but this is like that. This is like a family business. Absolutely. These volunteers are, are consummate professionals and they're showing up with all this rehearsal time to produce good community theater. So I, I think it's incumbent upon us to just, you know, maybe break out of that, you know, $20 IMAX movie ticket mm -hmm. and actually go see some real live performers that have put their heart and soul into it. Absolutely. I love movies as much as the next guy. There is nothing like seeing things live. In the world of things to disagree with, the one thing we do agree with is a good song. Absolutely. Something that makes us tap our feet absolutely. or lift our spirits. Mm -hmm. And I believe live theater absolutely does that. So 8 o'clock theater, it's 8oclocktheater.com. And tickets are available for Sunset Boulevard now. Mm -hmm. And they're going to sell out quick. So how do people get their tickets? There's you can go on to largoarts.com, which is the website for... Uh, the Central Park Performing Arts Center. Uh, yeah, tickets are about twenty-eight fifty. Uh, there's student tickets available. Oh, nice! There are group tickets, so there's definitely different options as well. That's wonderful. I think that is uh, fantastic. Anyone who has a, even the littlest bug on auditioning, you should go because James has basically said here, right here live, and we're putting it out there, that all levels of talent are welcome for the auditioning process. And just don't be afraid. Well, thank you so much for coming, James. Absolutely. I so appreciate it. So come see Sunset Boulevard. We run February 28th to March 15th. Get your tickets now, and I hope to see you there. Bye-bye, everybody. Wave bye, James. Bye. <laughs>